Let's talk about what is destroying our gut microbiome, negatively affecting it. What, what are the things that people are doing? Fiber quantity alone is important, but also yep. quality and diversity. Your fibers and your diet hitting every part of the microbiome in the colon, including the distal one. You need to think about broadening and expanding the types of vegetables and fruits and plant food that you consume, right? And trying to really encourage diversity so you can feed a diversity of bugs as well. So diversity yeah. is obviously an important factor. Uh, second is, like you mentioned, the antibiotics. Uh -huh. We know that sure. they're essential, preventing minor infections, which can turn to major. But we know they have this collateral damage effect to uh -huh. other... During the exposure, speak to your healthcare provider to see if they can start you on any probiotics during the antibiotic course to not only to minimize the risk of antibiotic-associated diarrhea, but also if you do manage to get that, reduce the time you spend ill with that and also continue that fiber intake during the antibiotic exposure to continue to encourage any remnant bacteria which are trying to survive, the fuel to survive. And I would lastly say, make sure the foods that you're having afterwards are higher in the soluble fibers Whoa. especially the low FODMAP ones. What about other medication types, have, uh, like uh, non-steroidal yeah. anti-inflammatories? You know, there's a lot of Parkinson's medications yeah. uh, can affect the gut microbiome. I don't think either one of them should be lifelong.